How about tomorrow? <laughs> uh, Matias is actually at another store. So, uh, I figured I'd go ahead and get this party started. You know, it's actually going to do it outside, but uh, it's sort of cloudy and it's sprinkling a little bit, so I didn't want to take a chance. The music is probably crazy loud. I don't know what it is. What up, Jay? I don't know what it is. Right, we could do some craziness with the camera this morning. <laughs> What's up, David, Jeanette? I got the uh, little wobbly, out of balance table. Spare time. Universal, Dragon, what's up? Chilling at the mall. Fabulous disaster. How you doing, Chris? And as you can see, look. Empty. <laughs> Got it all to myself. <sighs> Some nerd. Mama said, "Pop you out in here." There's a. There's a. I don't know if there is or not. Oh, there's Matthias. So yeah. Oh yeah, Jeanette. So when we met up this morning like we normally do, but he went down to another Walmart and then came back up. Hey Blair. He actually uh, saw some stuff. So that's typically the way we do it. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir, yep. One step closer. I've actually got something planned for this evening, which is the first time in, let's see here, in 16 months, this afternoon, I am taking my wife out to eat. First time in 16 months. Actually going to a restaurant for me and her to have a date night. Other than just go pick it up, bring it home. So she uh, she's put up a lot. She needs a she needs a night out. So she made. Uh, I told her about it last night when I got home from work. She immediately got on the phone, made reservations. <laughs> so we're going to uh, to a restaurant called Eighteen Fifty Five. I have never ate there. Hey Jason, she has once, so uh, nice. Date nights are great when you're married. All the married people out there, schedule date nights. It don't have to be nothing crazy, just date night. So, so we'll see. But I didn't want it to be like a, a chain style restaurant. I want it to be a, a nice little restaurant. This is a, a really nice little nab. But, indoor and uh, patio area so we'll see yeah I think it'll be good yeah. oh man Got 32 people in here already yes yes it does yes very key part big time the law of two <laughs> so yeah i did a little hunting this morning um i'm actually uh i gotta go to michael's today <laughs> i knew you would jeanette i knew you'd be looking it up i'm thinking i'm leaning <sighs> i don't know what's up ricky um i don't know what i'm gonna get yet kim told me i just saw matias car pulled up he's actually parking next to me right now at this very moment he just pulled in right beside my car um so kim told me i had to get the okra and pimento cheese appetizer 
I like okra. I like pimento cheese. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I am. Trust me. Headed Target. New turtle stuff. The hood. So, it's it's funny. There's a. Uh, hey, Graham. Um, so it's it's in my area, and I think a lot of people in the areas they actually have local uh, toy groups. And there's a subject I'm gonna touch on today, which I think is fun. I'm gonna wait till the PS gets here. Actually, David it has to do with that video, the Star Wars score video. So when Matthias comes in here, I won't talk about it because in, in one of my local groups, uh, I actually got some hate. I got some hate over that video from a couple of guys. I personally laughed. And I actually did have somebody in the group actually come to my defense, which was cool. But yeah, it's, it's, it's funny how people react and, and the comments they make are hilarious. So, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. It's part of it. Can't please everybody. It's always gonna be hate. It's always gonna be mean. Oh yeah, fabulous. Yeah, it was it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. And I mean, I had fun with it. I really did. Ooh, nice, Charlie. That's a cool wave. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, that was another touchy subject as well. Jared. <laughs> Which I find it funny because I know like me and Jared and me and Matthias, we, we pick at each other a lot. Be like, what are you doing in my Walmart? What are you doing in my Target? And we pick at each other and we have a lot of fun with it. Um, Turbo Man action figure. Matthias, I do believe is wanting that. I personally know pimento cheese. Uh, I've seen pictures of it. I don't really have a need for it or use, you know, so I probably won't, uh, but I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out, eye out for it because I do think Matias actually is looking to get it. We've yet to see him uh, in our area yet. Now he could have found one at the Walmart. He just went to waiting on the uh, stream to start. So, nice, Alex. I actually, uh, Jared actually found found them for me as well, the two I was missing for, but I've already got those coming, so uh, he was gonna pick those up for me yesterday, and I told him not to worry about it because I already made arrangements to get the other two, so. And as luck has it, as soon as you actually make arrangements, that's when you'll, you'll find things. When you order online, that's when you'll see it in the store. Uh, yeah, the crazy thing about it, Jay, this wasn't a Star Wars group. This was actually, this is a local toy group, like toys. There's Matthias. Phoebe's got me something. I see it in her hand. She, she mated me something. Where are you going? I thought she was heading down to peek in the window. Right here. I figured I'd, you know, get back to the, the three the three table. Oh snap. Good morning. So last week you guys heard that uh, I sort of left the window open and the, the sign that Phoebe made me sort of got wet and, and ruined. Right? Right? Rent. So, rent. so out of the goodness of her heart, she actually, we have now a new sign that's 2.0. So it's, it's the upgraded version. Oh yeah, it's, that's what I love about it. I do it. too. <laughs> and and, and the, little, the little things. Yep. Does that say tebole? Tebole. <laughs> you you got said, some French. Yeah, you said but here it is. tebole. The newest, the newest sign by Phoebe herself right there 
That is amazing. And look, please subscribe. She added that, but we're at the Tebole. 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 Mm -hmm. Gotta roll the pun. Tebole. I love it. Thank you, Phoebe. You're um, awesome. And I want to And I'm nobody else just so you those know. words. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mom, Mom was far away. Oh, and you couldn't hear? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going, when, when we're done here, I'm immediately going to get in a frame and putting this in a frame so it never gets run. Run, run. What's up? What's What's up, Josh? So, uh, yeah, I sort of gave a little prequel of the... Uh, Your fancy date night? No, no, I already did that. I know, I but, was uh, listening. But the, uh, did you like my little comment oh, I saw you pull? Yeah, I was like, how did he see me? But I can see now. Oh. Oh, What's up, Tim? So I was given a little bit of a, uh, of a breakdown of the local toy group debacle. Oh man, those guys are just crybabies. Salty tears were shed everywhere. So from the Star Wars video uh, where I picked up the figures, which my buddy Matthias actually gave me the heads up on. He called me. Hey, they're putting out toys. I see pallets. Get over here. So uh, boom. I got in the car and I drove an hour. It's it's easy, fifty minutes. But it's, it's from my house. It's an easily an hour. Yeah, easily. Now he goes there semi regularly. Every usually like Saturday mornings, Phoebe and I go toy hunting. Okay. And then the and then Sunday mornings, I get up so I can have some time by myself, and I take the long drives. I go to Kimball. Right. Which is like 20 minutes from the house. Yep. And then I go from Kimball to Dunlap, which is a 30 minute drive. And then, then you from go. Dunlap to Dayton, That's a right there. it's another 30 yeah. minutes. And then I come back and maybe hit Saudi Daisy and Hickson. So you got about two hours, two and a half hours. Yeah, I do like a Walmart loop just to see, you know, Hot Wheels. Yeah. Figures, you know, whatever. So, you know get there and sure enough the lady was still putting out toys and uh as you saw in the video i was able to score a large score of star wars figures of course i left lando i actually had a guy ask me why do you hate lando i said hang on i like lando i just yeah. don't have no need for the figure yeah uh, you'll see that one <laughs> everywhere so so when i posted the videos like i do every morning I post them. We got two local groups here in town, and there's a couple of guys that, basically, in a nutshell, they commented, "Way to go for taking all of the toys out of the store." And so him and his little him and his kid couldn't go hunting. So basically, he told me that I wiped out the store. Literally took. Every toy. Every toy. It's adults <laughs> like you. Why can't you just buy them online? Yeah. Why so, can't you just buy them online? So I commented back and I was like, dude, they was a bunch of toys in that store, which the crazy thing about the video was all the, the new DC stuff. It was Funko Pop, the NECA stuff. Everything was, was there. A, there was so much there. The Tiki's. Because people don't get out and shop crazy. at that store. So uh, then there was another guy chimed in blah 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 it just it turned into almost like my theory on this is both of those two guys i feel like were there to get the stuff to sell it and i think matthias has the same impression by the reactions of it because like tech uh you know cute so mean greg so mean i know i'm, I'm mean but the thing that really threw me was the fact when they told me I wiped out the store. Yeah. I mean, I would have needed a U-Haul truck. Yeah. You know. Because, but I think the funny part about this whole thing is, is they only had like, they had two techs and they had one of all the other ones and they had two Landos. What I find funny is, is why would you not say the same thing if you grabbed a whole wave of Marvel Legends? 
to do a build a figure. Nobody would say anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, if those two gentlemen, I'm not going to name names, if they would like to have a face-to-face -face discussion on the ethics of buying toys and understanding what the term clear out all the toys actually means in like normal adult English, okay. I'm, out, I'm out every Saturday. So just saying. But it was funny though. I did actually have a guy uh, actually commented on that and basically because the guy said that I should buy everything online and <laughs> leave all the toys in the store for the kids, which I find that a, a, an absolute absurdity in this day and age because I hardly see any kids in the toy aisles anymore. I see adults. I mean, how many times do you seriously see a kid compared to adults in the toy aisles and Targets and Walmarts? The ratio is not kid heavy anymore. No, you know why? Because kids can't drive. I can. So. But see, you have her with you when you go, but I see a bunch of... It's just adults uh, buying toys. Yeah. No kid buys toys. Oh, look, look at this. It's been a long time since we had to actually had the... Some sunshine in our sun face. Sun in her ah. face. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just funny to me that... Because uh, typically when someone... Oh, then they commented the fact that I was not in my area <laughs> which i find that funny too i didn't realize that we had, we had territories had yeah territories so i guess we're distributors and we have territory well if i'm buying all the toys out of the store i guess i am a distributor so yeah kids don't play with toys anymore phoebe's got one right there that came out of a happy meal oh right there see it right there so this guy doesn't even live in Ray County anyway. So continue to complain all you want. Yeah, it's funny. I enjoy stuff like that because if you think you're gonna rat on my cage, you ain't. <laughs> I've I have never had any uh, concern with keyboard warriors. Keyboard warriors are funny. <laughs> They're. <laughs> They're they're grown they're grown they're they're adults that still need their mom's permission to come out of the house. Great. Now I can't take my son to hit this Walmart either. I wish adults would buy online and leave the toy aisle for kids. How depressing it must be to be a child and see empty picked over pegs. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't even see his comment. <laughs> oh my God! I'm oh sorry. my Lord! There's actually <laughs> there's actually more going on than actually. I haven't actually looked at it in a few days. Another gentleman in the group said. I feel like this should be made clear for any and all crybabies out there. If me and your kid are after the same figure, you have no idea how happy I would be to pluck said figure from the peg literally right in front of your crying child. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, first of all, I don't, I don't condone doing that, but that is... It's funny. Though. It's funny the way he put it towards the guy that was basically he was redirecting it. So don't don't take toys out of kids' hands. But that is I appreciate the guy stepping up and another guy stepped up basically said he calls BS on it. So uh yeah, yeah I think it's funny. Yeah. That was savage. But but I just it to me it's it's literally like woohoo. Uh I find it funny that typically what I've seen, the adults that get mad are the adults that want it to sell it. Yep. Because the ones that collect it, they'll find it eventually. Yeah. That's, that's my Here's my theory. philosophy. If you don't get out and put the legwork in, then you don't need to cry about it. I yeah. get up every morning before work and I go to the Walmart. I know, that's cool. And I go to Walmart, and I look to see if they have new Hot Wheels. I've made friends with the people that put the toys out at the Walmart. 
Yeah. They text me, hey, we got a box, we're holding for you. Fantastic. Nobody else does that. You know what they do? They ransack the shelves, they don't pick anything up. Nope. When they're putting toys out, I help them put them on the pegs as I'm looking for what I want. Well, yeah, they I like me. Suck out one day with me and you both with hanging yeah. Hot Wheel cars. Yeah. I don't know crap about Hot Wheel cars. Phoebe knows more about Hot Wheel cars than I do. See? As she shakes her head. Mm -hmm. You can take your mask off if you want. Blah, 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 blah. Bless Cookie. <laughs> They're radical, what's up? So I just, I think it's funny that um, how, how adults ruin everything for kids. Well, guess what? We've been ruining kids' lives for years. I was ruining kids' lives when I was a kid. Yeah, but I mean, all adults have ruined kids' lives. Think about it. Yeah. We've all been disappointed. <laughs> I am the toy shop charmer. People love me. Oh, me and, <laughs> honest to God, Is me that conceited? And, no, me uh, and you know more employees. Yeah, I think so. I say hello to every person that oh, I yeah. see in the morning. I mean, Greg used to hug the lady over here at Barnes & Noble. I Elizabeth. Did. Every more, every time I come in. That little old lady man is so excited when she gets a hug from Greg. She would stop ringing up a customer yeah, and come walk around, around the counter to give Greg a hug. hug. And she was like late 70s. Oh, I think. easily. I yeah. Some and then, uh, uh, Good job. Uh, um, oh. Christian? Catherine? Who are we well, talking no, about? Well, Catherine is Bachlan. Bachlan. Uh, hot topic. Christian? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't uh, seen her in a while. No, you just get hugs from her, yeah. get hugs from Catherine. Oh, this, right, disappointment is a huge part of life. Yeah, Here's man. the thing. Salt, tears are salty for Look, a reason. I am not a participation trophy guy. <laughs> Me neither. And that goes for toys as well. I have a word for that, but I can't say Yay. it on Greg's channel. <laughs> I just got a new one. Hey, everybody, you all get a trophy. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't work yeah. for me. No. I just got a new one. Nice. Boom. Catching Pokemon, baby. On a live stream. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You you put the work in. Yeah. You know, um, if you want to be good at something, put the work in. That's you right. Know? And don't half A it. Just go all in. Yeah, I mean, it's... That's why I have a room full of pops from tip to toe. <laughs> the walls are pops. The walls are pops. True story. True story. But, I mean, to me, it's like... Hey, you know, once I set up my storage unit, you can come and do a, a video at the house. I'll just have my good stuff out. Everybody keeps asking me to do a... a I know, <laughs> I know. I'll just show you. I'll pull a tote down, open it up. There you go. There you go. Hey, some toys. <laughs> But yeah, it's like anything worth doing is worth doing right. That's right. I heard that growing up. Yep. Work hard. Yep. If you're, oh, the best one I ever had growing up was. Don't, don't. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my granddad used to say to all of his employees at the company. Um, it's a true story. Yeah. Never, ever, ever give up. Yeah. If it's worth it, it's worth the effort. That's how I feel. Right? Just crushed it over there. So, anyway, yeah, that was the uh, the local toy right, rant. Let me get some of those. Let me clear. Are you, what are you doing? Are you evolving? Ooh. Oh, my God. You're wasting my stuff. Quit evolving Pokemon. See, look, how boring is that thing? I, love I couldn't do this. So what's the point of this if there's only two of each color? Oh, man. How many? The, there's a little piece of paper, and you try to do the pattern. Oh, so it's not like a get three. No, no, no. You just That's wasted right. some of my coins, and now I can't make it. If you're it not mega first, beetle. you're last. That's right. Oh, uh, Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. You ain't first, you last. So did a little bit of hunting today. Um, Why don't you just I, put clear tape all over this? Because I want to frame. 
Oh, no, we're not put clear that tape over there. I did frames of my artwork already. I know. This is this is art. I'm, I'm going to buy a frame that, that does this like you made. See, she made a tent card out of it. So it actually stands up on its own like that. But I'm going to frame it. So it's always protected. Because you put a lot of work into that. That's awesome. That's like the best sign I ever. I did somebody else's art. You did what? You did somebody else's art. Yeah, remember you uh, did the shape for the dog frame? <laughs> she remembers when something made, he doesn't. When I My money's on dog, her. When I made dog, a dog out of shapes. Out of what? Out of shapes and art class. And you framed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Educated. So yeah, it's uh, it's been an interesting week. We do have an actual toy show today. I don't think I'm going to it because it's a toy slash car swap shop thing. It, it is, is nine seventeen, sir. I don't know. Keep reading. So I decided to uh, come back over here to. Uh, Hot topic. The hot tropics. I gotta go to Michael's. Hey, you know if they made a a store and called it Hot Tropics and everybody wore bathing suits and flip flops, wouldn't that be great? I'd go there. Sort of like the bikini girl coffee shop we got out west. Oh yeah, that's silly. But Hot Tropics, you go there and you buy all your uh, gear for the pool. Isn't that the like the sun? What what the? Oh yeah, sun. Uh, Pacific Sun. Pacific Sun. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Now, so, uh, I'm going to die a figure this weekend. Die? With what? Die. What kind of die? Rip. Like the clothing die? But I got to go to Michael's and get the they synthetic they said, rip. They said you can have work and play with your buddy. Pacific Run. That's good. So, oh, um... I know Josh, when Zilla Reboot, has done some figure dyeing. Uh, but I actually watched the video the other day, uh, the other day. watched a couple videos on it. Because that that red skull figure, yeah. the villains, I don't like the green. Yeah, it's too bright. I want it black. I want it all black. Okay. Then I can paint it. That's not a bad idea. So, uh, I'm going to dye it. And the one guy told me, because I was going to use red anyway right but he said use the synthetic because it bonds to plastic better than the normal rip that's cool so, so i didn't know there was a synthetic rip i didn't either so josh I used the did you use synthetic or did you use the normal rip i used the rip Hey Rob, to do tie dye stuff when she yeah. when she was doing tie dye stuff for school. I used to use the rip when I did Marcy cars, the wheels and stuff that were white. I down colors to match the uh, paint job. But I've never heard of synthetic. Huh? Is Glamma in here? The Queen of Funko? She's not in there. <sighs> I am. I am just, just blown away right second. now. I'm getting rid of some stuff. Don't get rid of there she is. Synthetic dye. Yeah, it's because it's it's ripped and underneath it it has synthetic. So Michaels is supposedly like got it. To mega evolve. I would love to go to Glamma's like mansion to see the Her plethora collection. of pops that she has. Are you boxing everything up, Glamma, and moving it? What are you doing? I saw you like organizing and boxing. I'm so confused. I bet you could spend days looking at her Funko collection. Yeah. Look at that. Got a mega so that's the plan today. I'm going over to my. I bet you could spend days looking through all my toys in my room. Oh, probably. You would probably spend years. Yes. I can't. E I can't even find my own stuff. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I can't find my own stuff either. I looked for two hours for my tape gun. It was right beside the chair. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens, you know. You just get old, start forgetting things. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> I forgot that I already put in my uh, bracelet away. Did you say put it? In? Put it. Put it. In. Put, put it. Put it. Put it. Put it. Just put. Put. My uh, bracelet. Oh, I saw that put it. In. I, I know. I forgot I uh, put my bracelet in the drawer and I looked all around my room to find it. Couldn't find it. Painting and redoing the room. Oh. Ah. I just got a storage glamma and I'm taking all my pops down so we can paint and do some stuff. So but then they're going to stay in storage. Forever? So, if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, I want to first and foremost say you need to. Why this wouldn't they be following you on Instagram? Instagram? Well, see, the thing about the synthetic that is for the action figures, supposedly the synthetic in here. adheres to the plastic parts better, supposedly. But the guy also, the way he did it, because I haven't died a figure. I've died plastic before, but I've never died an action figure. Right. So he brought it up to warm. Okay, to temperature. You don't want it boiling because everything will fall off. Right, okay. He put it in there, started, started, started. He actually did the Duke figure. The G.I. Joe yeah. Duke, which is colorful. Yeah, it's, it's got super the yellow colorful. and green. So let me ask you this though, I when know. you're dying, stop. They're both different. Oh my gosh. But he let it sit in there for an hour. See, there's something brown. Stern. I tagged it. Just like for an but what I my guess my question is, are you when you're dying it, you're dying the whole figure or just yeah. parts? You can do either or. I'm doing the whole figure. Why are you doing the whole figure? Because the whole thing's green. His head's not green. Oh, I'm taking the head off. Okay, so you're just doing parts. I'm doing the body. I got you. Okay. I'm not, but I'm not taking the body apart. See, because when I think of dying something, you're putting the whole thing in there. Right. It's not like you're staining a piece. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing goes Could in the Could you use the rit to stain pieces, I wonder? I'm sure you could. Make like a paste, put it on there, let it sit, and then wash it off? It wouldn't go deep. You don't think it would? No, I don't think it would. Because like I said, he let his sit in that pot for an hour. Okay. And then he turned the heat off. Yeah. And let it sit for another 15 minutes while it cooled down. So it basically an hour, 15 minutes. Yeah, that's crazy. But it does make sense if like that red skulls, that really bright looking green. Yeah. It'll dine it down a little bit. What color are you doing it? Black. Ooh, do you think the green will still be there a little bit? Ah, uh, maybe. Do you think you need to sand it first and break up the sheen? You have to wash it first. Okay. I learned that from uh, Josh and Johnny. Before you paint a figure, wash it. Okay. To get the... Uh, the sheen off? The oils? Yeah, I guess. The film. Okay. Is that the correct word here? Yeah, the green is like... I love the skull, though. I which, learned so much. Here's, here here's the thing. Gray. I'm actually thinking... I'm actually going to look at the one skull. Yeah. I'm thinking about seeing if it'll fit on a, tr a clone trooper's body. Oh, it should, right? I'm hoping it will. That'll be awesome. So even if the figure gets jacked up, the heads are great. The heads are great. That's the only reason I bought that figure. Yeah. So that's the plan for this weekend. That's something I'm going to do today, so I need to get a pot. I need to go. I should have got that while I was at Target or Walmart. I need to get a dye pot. No, just go to uh, Dollar, Store. Dollar Tree on your way home and get those little tins that you cook a turkey in. You know those little flat metal. Yeah, now I'm getting bored. Just give me a base your pan. Yeah. No, you need to have a pot. Why do you have to have a pot? Because you got to fill it full of water. You fill that thing full of water. It's like this but tall. How are you going to heat it? Oh, you have to heat it. Yeah, you got to heat it. No. Constantly. Yeah, you got to keep it on low heat. Oh yeah, no. So Stick it in the oven at 140. You still got to have a pot. To put water in? I'm talking about the metal thing. Do you not know what I'm talking about? You're, but you're doing a whole new process. It's a dollar. And you get like 10 of no, them. No, no, no. No one's ever done it that way. So what? What's the difference? Well, I'd at least like to have some success. It's heat. Oh, you'll have success. success. God, there's no dog around. You'll have success. <laughs> so that's the plan for this afternoon. Before the date night. And I got to finish up some, uh, some more thrones. And that's what I was going to say earlier. If you haven't been following me on Instagram, man, you squirrel. need to. Um, yeah. But as you guys know, I've been making thrones. And first and foremost, I want to say a big shout out to everyone 
that has bought a throne for me. I am blown away that so many people have actually loved these thrones that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, appreciate that so much. But uh, I actually posted on Instagram, I finished my second throne, because I was up at 2.30 this morning. What? Yeah. You've been up since 2.30? Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a problem. So yeah, I've Just almost got a full now. day in. Uh, so I finished the second one up. So I've yeah. got two Boba Fett thrones. So if you need a Boba Fett throne, DM me on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Um, I've got a Cobra throne okay. that has the base coat and the uh, texture on it. Yeah. And that one I'm doing different. What are you doing to it? I'm not doing the Cobra in red. What? Why would you not do that? I'm wanting to try something a little different. I think Are you I'm, gonna make it black? No. Oh, I thought maybe. I think I'm gonna do the Cobras in a aged bronze. Ooh. That that same that I have on the Boba Thrones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That aged bronze paint. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do the, the Cobra in that. Okay, that's cool. Then I'm gonna use black leather. Okay. For the seat. Yeah, when we get home, can we watch the video? Quit it. Ignore it. Quit interrupting. So, that picture will be posted probably tomorrow, hopefully, of that throne. I'm super jealous, man. But if you want a Cobra throne, DM me. I don't mass produce them because each one is printed and I hand paint each one of them. Um, so I don't have like a plethora of them on a shelf. So, but if you're interested, you 91 people in there. He will have a plethora of them on the shelf before too long. I accept those, I'm, I, I do two at a time. Okay, so can you print two at a time, or while you're painting one, you're printing the other? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, typically what I'll do is I'll print, like, a complete one, then I'll start another one, get the because it's two pieces. Okay. So, uh, and I can't do, the way I've got, I'm actually going to redesign the layout to see if I can do two at a time, like two bases at a time and two backs at a time. Right. It just takes longer. So, the painting part's got to be the longest part. The right? painting part is the um, altogether print to finish. Uh, I've probably got a solid three days, four days. But you're getting faster than your first one, right? The, no, With it's, the leather work and everything. Do you well, feel the like? leather work? I actually cut a pattern. Okay. I, well, the first one I did, I glued the throne back on. Then I tried to do the the leather. Mm -hmm. I got smart. Use the base. There's no back. So you can measure and you can test fit. And then I glue it down and then put the back on. Gotcha. Makes it a little easier to fit it. Yep. Because when the back... And I also paint the back before I glue it. Okay. So I'm actually... Which is technically a little harder because I'm actually painting both at yeah. the same time. Okay. Especially in the weathering part. Yeah, yeah, the weathering part. So, but if you're interested. So let me ask you this. Could you stain those? No, because it's heat. Well, if the heat was low enough because it's plastic, yeah, of course, it'll warp. Oh, yeah, it'll warp. But if you had, like, lukewarm water yeah. or slightly below. Yeah. Well, when I stain the figures, I'll throw a... Grogu head in there. Just seeing. See if it works. Because if it works, <laughs> that's going to be faster, especially if it's weathering. Well, the weathering part, though, when you die, it, it covers the whole thing. Because you have to stay, it has to stay in this. there. After it's stained, per se, it's only going to stain so much. You could probably take like a piece of sandpaper. Well, what I do now is the wash. You, oh, you just, just do a wash. Then, you, then I do detail weathering. Gotcha. With the uh, the mud paint. The mud paint. That's what it's called, Sterling mud. Really? It, yeah, it's thick. It's like mud. It has grit in it. Really? Yeah. That's cool. So mud paint. So yeah, thought. yeah, mud paint. It's so. Could you for, imagine? You know, like uh, what's his face that used to come here that paints those little tiny Mark, figures. Mark. How in the world? Does he paint those tiny little figures? He just posted some pictures of some other day. They're like two inches tall. I mean, is he looking through like a contraption? He has to, because I use the, the goggles. Oh, you do? 
Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine using those goggles to paint a tiny little figure? <coughs> well, actually, when you have those goggles on, yeah. I mean, it's literally like this. It's like, whoa. Really? Oh, yes. They're, they're cool. I Where'd you get said figure or said Harbor goggles? Harbor Freight? Okay. For uh, four bucks. Oh, oh I'm going to go to Harbor <laughs> In the world, you are catching new Pokemon left and so. right. So I think I'm going to go to Harbor Freight today and get myself a set of those goggles they're i think they're 14 bucks and the only reason is is because i've got a bunch of pennies i need to go through i will and tell I can you this. look on the back and see where they're minted and everything with those goggles the harbor freight in cleveland have you been to the one over here on brainerd road that's where i used to go so now you go to the one and it's awesome it's bigger well there's another one in chattanooga it's nicer thank you Jeanette. and i think it's in hickson Really? Or maybe it's in Saudi Daisy. I just saw it the other day. Harbor Freight is the best place ever. I need to go to Harbor Freight anyway. I got to build a canoe dolly today. A canoe dolly? A canoe dolly. They actually have dolly wheels there. I know. That's why I'm going to Harbor Freight. That's I'm where I build get... a canoe dolly so I can get my canoe on and off the car easy. That's where I buy I get my to the water. Blue. At Harbor Freight? Yeah, you can get like the 20 pack. How much super glue do you go through? Quite a bit. Oh, I mean, you do make a lot of stuff, though. I didn't. Know. I mean, it's just a little tube. When I think of super glue, I think of that scene in Airplane. <laughs> well, it's about that size, little crazy glue. Yeah. Too. I mean, but it's enough to do. Like, I can do a couple of thrones with one tube. But I don't use super glue for my thrones. I use uh, DS six thousand, which takes twenty four hours to dry. But it probably sticks instantly. No. The, oh, it doesn't? No. Oh. You actually, so every throne, like the Cobra Thrones, so when I put the, the ES6000 on it, it goes on like a silicone. Yeah. It's thick. Get it on there, then I've got a block that I made that goes behind the throne. Mm -hmm. Then usually just put some painter tape or clamp it, set it aside 24 hours. Good to go. And then coming apart. It's not coming apart. That's cool. So, the crazy, sometimes I'll take the crazy glue and I may put it on the edge and then the ES6000 in the middle mm -hmm. so that one little edge contact will grab. Then I'll spray it with the activator. So, activator. Even the seat cushions that I'm making out of the EVA foam now, that whole assembly's uh, E6000. Okay. So they're durable. That's awesome. Durable before. Durable. Yeah, durable before. So, if you need one, shoot me a DM. I'll hook you up. Boom. There's 88 people in here. We had 91 a while ago. That's the same. Oh, man. So, there you go, peoples. And I will tell you this. What time is it? It's 934. Or now. Already. My day has only been started at about 5 o'clock. Started it, did, 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 did. I started it at... I started it. I started at five o'clock, and then I just yeah. laid in the bed until about six. <laughs> and then at about six fifteen, I was like, "Man, maybe I'll get up." And I got up. Wow! I don't even know what to say to that. I just laid there, man. You know I how often know. I actually just get to lay there? Not very often. And everyone's making him up, especially me. Eight thirty-four, Texas morning. time. Texas. Teja. We're 234 in, in UK. Yeah, that sounds about right. Who's that? Hey, I heard uh, the UK, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, July 19th. I actually have some people that are on my team so. that actually work over in the UK. They were saying that the restrictions were going to be lifted on July 19th. Yeah, because they're still in lockdown. So, is that Rio Grande yes, no? Valley? 92 people in here. Awesome. Only 38 thumbs up, though. I mean, that's ridiculously low. The same. You know, you can go in the the chat and hit that X button, hit the thumbs up, and then come back to the chat. We totally don't care if you leave. It the is chat. true. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Japan just initiated theirs again. Well, yeah. Uh, We're going to oh. probably have to have another lockdown here if the Delta variant wreaks yeah. havoc. Because nobody wears masks here anymore. So I've got. I do. Yeah. Um, I'm 
200 away from 17,000 subscribers. 200? That's it? 200. Tell your friends. I will be giving away, I'm actually going to do a giveaway around 17,000. And I'm going to be giving away one of my thrones. Nice. It'll, and the person will be able to pick either a, not open. a Cobra or a Boba Fett. Oh, cool. And I'm also in the process. So, what of, are you selling more oh, online, there. Cobra or Boba Fett, Mandalorian? Um, well, when I, when they actually reached out, the people reached out to buy them. I sold uh, three Cobras and uh, one great. one Boba Fett. That's awesome. But then I've got another Boba Fett that's that a guy wants. So, nineteenth. I'm glad to hear that. Is Darren in here today? I didn't see him go live this morning. On, yeah, he on must have been going live every Saturday. I haven't got me the custom weapons, the ones that I paint. I mean, that's not real. I mean, it's. Clean up. Trying it on. Make sure you know it's still fit. Oh. <laughs> stretching out the Thank ear you. tabs. Um. Hopefully by this time. Yes, he is talking about Thrones. Yes. Who is that? I can't, yeah. I can't read from here, man. My, the older I get, the worse my eyesight gets. That's why I'm going to go get those $4. Uh... I, will, I will tell you this. The uh, I'm actually going to take and test. I think it'll be too big. Um, I want to test the Mortal Kombat figures. Oh, yeah. But I think they're 70. They are 7-inch, but so, they still might look good in there. But I might be able to just scale it up. Yeah. So I'm actually working on a Cobra they're Throne for 3 and 3 quarter. They're not open. A 3 and 3 quarter? Yeah. So wait, what's the small throne hold? Does it not hold 3 and 3 quarter? The ones that I made. I no, thought you made a small one before no, you both, made that other They're size. both 112. Okay. So I'm going to try to make a 118 one. Okay. Because there was a guy. And you're still me. making a big one too, right? Is that still happening? That's going to happen if my next plan comes together. What you told me outside? Yeah. Okay. Because you got to be making other stuff. Yeah. I got you. So, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Redder yeah. Throne. Redder Throne. Throne. Yep. I've been thinking about that. What size are those NECA figures? Seven inch. I don't even think they have a scale. I, technically, they're, I guess, 112 plus? <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I know they're seven inches tall. Yeah, but some of them are bigger and some of them are smaller. Loki, I have yet to finish the first episode yet. What? Dude, episode five was strong. I just, I don't know why. It's just. I like it. It's only six episodes, man. I know. Next week, you're just going to have to binge watch all six episodes. I don't know what. There was just something about it. I guess. Is there a new episode of uh, Bad Batch? Bad Batch? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll watch that tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to binge it and watch it. It's just... Just don't get disappointed in the third episode. One-tenth for most NECA figures. Oh. That makes sense. Okay. 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 Yeah. I actually got a trooper. They're not open. Uh, I got the trooper that was, it's actually getting delivered today. What trooper? The uh, Cobra. Okay. The Target re-released. Yeah, I know. I, I I had what's her face in my cart and I was like, you Baroness. know what? I don't need to spend any money. So I just do Baroness. Baroness figure is great. I care I know. I about the motorcycle. I it last but week. The... That's the only reason why I wanted it. Four more people. Come on. We'll have even hundred. No, seven more people. Oh, but look at those likes, man. Know, you got right? 51 now. I think I think we need to have 94 likes. Hey, tell your friends that Greg's only 200 away. If they're not following Greg, they should be. Somebody posted a thing yesterday on Instagram, follow Greg. And I can't remember who it was, but I liked it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Cause it's, uh, YouTube, YouTube, honestly, when I first got into it, you know, I didn't really, I didn't realize how good it was for me. Yeah, it's therapeutic. That's why the therapy table yeah. is so beneficial. Yeah. I look forward to Saturdays. Oh, yeah. So, 
likes or comments. The algorithm actually looks at both. It really does. I personally, I enjoy comments. I love reading comments on what, you know. You answer most oh, of your comments, too. Oh, it was Rob. Too. It was Rob that said that. Said what? Posted that. Oh, it was it. Rob. That's right. Eight subs. Five months. Look, here's the thing. Number one, when, when I first got into YouTube, I, I didn't get into YouTube for any other reason other than the enjoyment of doing it. And that today is still the main reason why I do it. So I've had a YouTube account for like umpteen years. Never posted anything. I mean, I did post some stuff with my car so people could see it. Um, but I've never thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a YouTube channel. And then I met this you who over here and he's like taking it to another level. I would have never. Uh, yes, Rob, yes. Dude, if you get to 21,000 in 2021, oh, that'd be so amazing. That would be sick. The giveaway for that's gonna be huge. It would have to be huge. Oh, when you get to 20,000, it's gonna be huge. Yeah, but I've really given some, I've really given some thought. Can you do it though? Do what? Uh, that's it's, it's 4,000 in, uh, in five months. That's possible, right? It's, it's, <sighs> What's the most you've received in a month? Average, I mean, it's like the most, I think it was 400. In a month? Yeah. Oh, we got to figure out how to get this. Ooh. Mozilla Rebit hit the one a custom for the 21K. Yeah. I put it to you, so how cool to be to give away my G.I. Joe classified series collection. You've said that before. I, you won't give it away. You never know. You know what you should I'm give crazy away? like that. You should give me I'll give my that Red Bull refrigerator that you have or whatever that thing is in the corner. I want that damn refrigerator. Every time oh. I see it, I'm like, look at that refrigerator. That's right, Bill. Oh, I checked the price. The uh, the little ones are still 29 bucks. I got one for 15 Where? At Walmart. Um, what are they called? The little markets. The, I went into a Walmart. Oh, the, uh, the grocery store Walmart. I went into oh. a Walmart grocery store to see, to look at their Hot Wheels. And as I'm walking in, I passed right by their display and they were all marked down to 15 bucks. So I have a little Coke one at the office now. <laughs> Make a skull of me sitting on the Cobra throne? Uh, Side of Copenhagen can. Uh, but no, that's great. Chris has 40 subs and he doesn't have anything. I have like 15 subs yeah. and I have no idea. It's probably people from in here. Uh, but it, it'll be a good giveaway. I'm, I'm really, it'll definitely be some stuff that I've made. Um, it'll be other stuff. Greg will buy you dinner. The 21,000th subscriber. Greg will take you to dinner, but you have to come here. Funko Pops for a dollar, including 10 inch? I saw somebody post that at Walmart, but I didn't know where or how. So my Walmart, by my house, the guy that runs the electronics section, they got in trouble for marking stuff down a while back. So I mentioned to him, I said, hey man, your pop section's getting a little ridiculous. You need to mark some of this stuff down. He goes, not doing it, because I don't want to get in trouble again. I was like, all right, more power to you. It's about to take over the store. If all the if all his subscribers make a new YouTube account, wait, wait a minute. If Charlie, if all of his subscribers make a new YouTube account and join, they'll be thirty two thousand. <laughs> you go, Charlie. But it's only if you enjoy the content. I mean, because YouTube is smart. YouTube is smart about finding. They they have a really good algorithm. Yeah, you need to go viral. One viral post will get you to 17,000. That's it. No, oh, no, God, please, children. no. Children. <laughs> she cut them out <laughs> over like. <laughs> and never missed a lick on the bogey bot. She's like this. Did you catch anything else? <laughs> 96 people. Give me that. Four more. I love this. But yeah, so um, I made. Mean, I'm actually pretty excited, but I do need to, I can still go to Dollar General Store or 
You know what? I bet they got something over my I can put that die in. I just don't want to even remotely go to Kim and pull out one of the pans out of the... You pull a pot out and she will destroy you. I have a kid's shirt ripped off. You do it. I'm... <laughs> do I? I think they're open now. They're not open. They well, don't open till 10. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn said, I, I don't know if you remember or not, but way back, Kent ripped the shirt off. Yes. Glenn has got that shirt. What? Yeah. Well, she's just like, rip the shirt off. I'm buying it. <laughs> That's great. We can do that on a live stream. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> That'll be a uh, uh, therapy table after dark. Yeah, after dark. It'd have to be a 9 o'clock show. Doing well, David. How you doing? Uh, so, yeah. That's funny. That is funny. I remember when y'all ate those hot nuts. I thought, oh my God, they're all gonna die. Oh yeah, the the music reaction videos. Yeah. Those kids that do, they get paid a lot of money to do. That. Well, it's not just kids. There's adults who do. Well, I'm talking about those two guys, the twin brothers that do it, that started it, that have never seen like a video from the '80s, and they watch it and they're just oh, like, oh yeah. I'm like, come on, man. Everybody knows that song. I don't care who you are. You have to live in a rock. There's one guy that I watch every once in a while, he does them, and his classic move is just like, yeah, <laughs> that's his classic. It'll be like a, it'll hit a note or something. It'll be like, oh, that was awesome. I mean, it's like, if I did them, it'd be like, yep, yeah. I do, I do one on uh, John Denver, Take Me Home. Yes. Take me home. So John Denver's uncle was my, yeah. Junior high principal, Abe Dutchendorf. Good old times right there. I need to find the most. Uh, yeah, reaction videos are fun to watch. I need to find the most obs obscure thing and do the reaction of it. You like need this. to watch magnet fishing videos and do reactions to magnet fishing videos. <laughs> How hilarious would that be? Find like the ones where they're pulling up like bicycles. Well, there's a guy that I watch. He does it over in uh, Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, Bondi. And he's, yeah, I think he's from Australia because he's got a really cool, you know. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, Amsterdam canals? It's full of garbage, man. Everything he throws in there, he's pulling out scooters and bikes. I think he's the one that I've watched where he's pulling the he's scooter curly out. curly hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen it. I'm just like, that's what I need to do. I need to find a magnet fishing video. And do a reaction. Never, don't watch it and just do a reaction. <laughs> but what the? <laughs> it will be so funny. I will die laughing. <laughs> so who's going to go see uh, Black Widow? I'm not going to go see it. Me neither. I'll pay the. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll probably pay the 29 bucks to watch it at home. I'm just going to wait till it hits home. October 6th. I can wait that long. I, I waited wait. this long, two and a half years. Well, that is true. That is true. I'm just as excited as a new Marvel movie. Yeah, me too. You know. I think if I could, I'd go see it. It's at the IMAX right now downtown. If I win, it'd be on a Sunday on a matinee. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Last night, movie reactions. I've I actually done a, a movie reaction video once. A trailer. Um, Red box. There is some dumb stuff on the internet, by the way. Oh, I watched. I watched a video of these two guys that were infatuated with Dumb and Dumber, and they made that little moped. Have you seen this video? They made the moped. They're, and by, they're, they're riding 1,200 miles. 382 miles on this moped that went 35 miles an hour. The yeah. guy, the guy that I really, really, am, I love watching. I think it's, I think it's Colin Fuse. Yeah. He, he's over. He's overseas. Okay. Uh, UK, I do believe. Is this live? Yes, Blue. It is uh, live. I was waiting to see that, um, but he um, he makes stuff. He, he builds stuff. It's like a maker, like yeah. Adam Savage. But he's just way up. He made like a freaking massive trebuchet that was like ninety feet tall. It's Dude. just massive. But what he's doing now, he's got his workshop. Yeah. A few years back, he made an underground bunker. 
Okay. That's his studio, man cave, whatever you want to call it. He's got his house. Well, now what he's doing, he's digging a tunnel from his workshop to his house and to his bunker. He's actually, he's already dug down six meters. That's 18 feet. Yeah, that's far. He's going this way. He's actually welding everything up. Yeah. I mean, he's taking it serious. I'm just like, is that legal? I don't know. It's in the UK. I, I don't know. But it's a fun video to watch because he's hauling all this dirt out because he doesn't want his neighbors to know what he's doing. I just watched another video yesterday. See, this is why I, I don't know what kind of algorithm my YouTube has. It I'm, learns. And it might have been on Instagram, but I watched a guy build an apartment in a mountain. And he's like literally yep. cutting the rocks away. Builds an outdoor uh, fireplace with a chimney that goes into the rock and then comes out. It's the craziest thing. It's in Japan or something, but yeah. Well, I'll, the uh, he's mole man. He's mole. <laughs> the uh, some of the hottest. No, I'm gonna say hottest videos, but some of the videos that's really uh, popular nowadays too is the people that are living in vehicles. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, almost bought that school bus, but my, I had no place to cousin, park it. My cousin, I think, just bought a bus and is doing this. Yeah, I was gonna make a schoolie. So, my wife, we found a school bus. The y, you say the, a schoolie? Yeah, that's what it's called. The Georgia YMCA, our buddy runs it, and they have a school bus, and he was going to sell it to me for two grand. But then I was like, where am I going to park this thing I while would just I'm working like, on it? I'd just like to have a vehicle that I can have the uh, toy table thing like we talked about a couple of years ago. I still, that's still a, a, that would be cool. in my brain. So, you can buy a Ford Transit, convert it. Yeah, I just think it'd be cool. I mean, you always got a place to, to do this. Yeah, you could travel the country. It'd be like the uh, antique archaeology guys. Yeah. <laughs> the toy bus, right. Yes. Who's that? Insightful imagery. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to wrap things up. Uh, I will tell you this. Then Dad um, oh, you want a smoothie? Hopefully, within the next two weeks. Okay. Hopefully by the end of July, which is a couple weeks. weeks. Yeah. There, there could be a very huge addition. And if he hits seventeen thousand, a huge giveaway. There will be a giveaway. Now the huge one's on twenty-one. I know, but it'll still be a giveaway. So, you want a smooth smoothie? <laughs> but anyway, seriously, guys, uh, I think we're out. We're going to get some smoothies. Go over hit over at uh, Hot Topic. Go up to see, uh, see Catherine working at Box Did you get Chick-fil-A again? He huh? gets Chick-fil-A all the time. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's awesome. Chick-fil-A's the best. Um, I wasn't live this past Tuesday, but I'll try to be uh, live this coming Tuesday night. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you had a good reason not to be live on Tuesday. Uh -huh. Two and a half hours of traffic. Traffic, man. It took me hours to get home, and I was going the opposite Crazy. direction. Uh, but got a hunt video coming out on Monday, so definitely check that out. I'm going to do another bad batch bad glamour, figure bad review. Genetic. Oh, a bad batch. Uh, I actually had everybody vote on Tech. Yeah. Who the next one? So I've got to count it up. It's either going to be Hunter or Crosshair. Okay. I think right now Hunter is actually leading, which I surprised saw the Hunter me. Hunter again yesterday. I so, left it. Anyway, guys, I think that's it. Hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Hope you have a great weekend. And always remember, live streaming refreshes your soul just like toys do. Baloney. Toys refresh your soul. <laughs> live streaming just helps a little. <laughs> y'all right, have a on. great one. Talk to you later. Try, try me under